so guys as you can see here i have one api which is taking the file as an input as you could see here and when i try to hit this api and i'm getting the details regarding the file like file name what is the length of the file what is the content type and what's the file data which is in a byte array format and other things okay so uh, this part we are going to implement as part of today's tutorial so basically like we will take multi-part file as a input and get that file related information as part of today's tutorial okay so let me delete everything i have so that i can start from the scratch right so let me delete this guy and i have user yeah so this fellow as well and yeah all these things as well yes now i have the completely empty setup so i have one controller called the to controller here and here let me try to create a get api okay so get mapping up to you so get mapping no i will create a post mapping not get mapping because i am not going to expose that file right so let's say like get file info here as of now let's get public wide get file info okay this is a skeleton let me import the file sorry post mapping okay now we are going to take file as an input so how to handle that with the help of multi-part file okay so let's say like uh, user file here as a user file then this is nothing but consuming right so consume consumes what media type dot application uh, underscore multi uh, else wait a minute media type dot multi part data value this one okay so i am consuming file now okay this is good let me create let's say like let's keep as it is now i have the file now i will get the file name i'll get the file uh, length all those things right so where do we store that let's store that into a bean here let's create a class called file info class and i have the long box setup so i'm using simply at the way data here i hope you guys know how to create this long box if not then you just right click and create import the setters and getters as well not a big deal okay so private string file name since i have taken the output response here let me copy paste in my java code so that i can directly use something like file name private this is length right so let's create something like long type file length private this is a content so private string content type and private if you see here readable and file empty both are of boolean types right so i'll take something like boolean is readable next private boolean is file empty next we have missed this guy file data right this is nothing but a byte away guys so 
let's give it something like file private byte array of file data i think everything come up now so i am having the data so at the rate data so the setters and getters were automatically handled if not then you simply right click and here go to the source you get that setters and getters see this guy okay so here since i already have the data at the rate lombok is set up so it's not showing but usually it will show if lombok is not there or not been used now here mine is i am going to return file info so let's say here file file info is equal to file info of new file info and that file info i am going to return right now here let me add produces as well produces which is media type dot json value will be there this guy application iphone json value okay so till here we are clear hopefully if i have any doubt please let me in the comment section guys yes now uh i have file info i just need to set everything here file info dot set file name which is coming from user file which is a multi part file okay multi part file dot you could see here get original file name file info dot set content type as your uploaded file that is a user file okay dot get content type next file info dot set uh, file length as user file dot get um uh, get where where mm, get size yes next file info dot set content type completed file length completed file data is yeah we'll get into this guy set um set is file empty okay so user file dot get get uh not get is empty will be there right yeah this should be sufficient okay is empty file info dot set uh is readable which is nothing but user file dot readable we have no right so let's get into get resource then we have is readable okay then the final part is getting the data right so file info dot set file data which is nothing but user file dot get bytes which is nothing but a byte away right mm kya hua okay let's do this because if the file is not there then this will become a io exception right cool okay now this should complete our task here uh, i am passing as a request para let's say as a file i'll pass let me import request param here yeah i think this should be good to go let's see let me see whether it yeah, got closed now let me start executing this so this is a very basic tutorial on multi part file guys i am planning to make couple of videos on this multi part file so do watch out for this playlist which is like you know upload download 
other things like how we can write it to the screen so some other things we'll try to explore so now you could see in the meantime it started executing now this is my end point get file info so it it get file info and here uh, 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 what I am passing I am passing file right so this should be file and let me select a file okay now okay method not allowed okay okay one second request okay get method i have taken actually i modified it to the post okay now let's see now you could see we got the data right now let me open this file and show it to you this is a file guys so uh two is a file name content type is a text is it readable yes is file empty no it is not file empty file data we are getting it as a uh, byte away okay now let me see here two and you could see here 31 bytes that is a file length in bytes okay so this is a, about the small thing about the multi part file as i said we are planning to make couple of videos on this uh, data type uh, so do watch on this playlist guys thank you so much for watching thank you it's me karthik signing off